In this video, I'm going to show you 10 different ways you can make money online as a stay-at-home dad. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you are interested in different tips and tricks on how to make money and find success online. All right, so maybe you are a stay-at-home dad and you want to make some extra money just to kind of contribute. Maybe you want to go on a new trip. Maybe you want to buy some toys for Christmas, whatever it may be. You are looking for a few different ways that you can make some money while not having to work a traditional nine to five. This video is gonna help you out with a few different suggestions or ways that you can do it while your children are napping or on play dates. And so one of the first ways is blogging or YouTube videos. Now, one of the things that you can do when you're creating YouTube videos or, or blog posts is you can blog about your experience as a stay, home, stay at home dad. You can talk about your expectations, misconceptions, what people really think when they hear that you're a stay at home dad. You can talk about it from before being a stay at home dad to, to after after, what your friends think, what people see you on the street when you're with your kid, what you think. Just spend some time talking about uh, what you go through on the on the day to day. You can do a day in the life. You can do a month in the life. You can talk about how things might be different than when maybe your parents were a stay at home dad. So this is a good opportunity, and you can make a number of ways with YouTube or blog posts, one of those ways being ads or, or getting monetized with AdSense. In addition to talking about yourself on YouTube or blog posts, you can talk about uh, some of the products that work well for you, some of the products that don't work, uh, some of your, you could do like product reviews on different types of maybe diapers or wipes or whatever it may be, or things that you use and, and things that you recommend and go through as a stay at home dad. So that's number one, you can do blogging or YouTube videos and you can actually make money a few different ways doing that. Next is dropshipping. Dropshipping is an online storefront where you don't directly manage products, you source them from other locations. One example is that you can get you can source products from Alibaba and have them sent to some someone here in the United States or around the world. For example, um, let's say a, a customer wants to buy a widget. You find a widget at a cheaper price from, from Alibaba, let's say it's like $3.99. You turn around and sell that product to a customer for $9.99 and you make the $6.99 or $6 difference. And so that's basically what dropshipping is. You don't actually manage or, or hold any products on site. You just basically find, you're, you're that link that's, that links the customer as well as the business. So that's a great way to make money online without having to, again, to work a nine to five. The next way you can make money online as a stay-at-home dad is building websites. And basically, one of the cool things with building websites is you don't actually need any experience to start. The only thing you need to do is find out different places where you can market your services, including Fiverr, Thumbtack, anywhere that, that allows freelancing. And as you get jobs, as you, get, as you bid on jobs, you can learn what you need to do. Just simply, uh, if someone wants a WordPress website built, just go over to YouTube or Google and, and Google how to build a WordPress website. So one online has already done it and will walk you through the steps on how to build a WordPress website. You take a week or so, build the, the website, and again, this is all, these are all things that you can do while your children are napping or they're on a play date. You build the website, you turn it back to the customer and they're satisfied. You can start building an online reputation by just by building websites. And again, this can be done at night uh, and it can be done a few hours at a time. In addition, you can also start a web hosting company. Now, basically what that is, is you become a reseller for larger um, web hosting companies. You can be a reseller for GoDaddy, for Bluehost, um, for uh, Name Hero. Basically, you just buy a block of, of storage, a, a block of um, a, a block hosting plan, and then you resell that. And you can resell that to local businesses. You can resell that to um, people online anywhere around the world. And it's a great opportunity to make reoccurring revenue because as long as people are satisfied with their web hosting plan, they'll stay with their web hosting plan. And you can make $100 per year per customer basically without having to do much work after the initial startup. So those are two good opportunities, building websites or starting a web hosting company. Next is called service arbitrage. Now basically what service arbitrage is, is you get contracted for a job at one price and then you have someone else do it at a cheaper price. You could do this with building websites, you could do this with graphic design, anything that requires a service, you could actually arbitrage it out. Uh, one way, for example, let's say um, you, you decide to get into Web, web development, you build a website, you contract with someone to build a website for $1,000. 
then you turn around and you hire someone like Fiverr or Thumbset, Thumbtack and you sell it for $500. You've already made a $500 profit. It, the customer is satisfied, all parties win, and it's almost completely hands off for you. Uh, you will have to work with the customer if they have different, um, if they want changes made, but those are little things and it won't eat too much into your your revenue. Uh, next is selling digital photos. Now, if you take a lot of photos of your family, friends, people, places, ideas, you can actually sell them at a number of different websites. There are a number of websites, there are a number of apps out there that you can actually sell photos. You just post them up and as people sift through and they're looking for things to add to their blog or add to their YouTube thumbnails, they can buy them from the website and then you get a portion of that of that sale or a portion of the commission. So just posting digital photos that you've already taken can make you some good amount of money. Next is sell your services. So you could sell graphic design, you could write essays, you can do blog posts. There are just a number of things that you can do online, uh, service-based, where people need help. There are always someone that's looking for a new logo. There's always someone that, that's looking for a new graphic. Um, someone. There's always people looking for people to contribute to a blog that they've started. I know that I've looked recently. Um, and this is a great way to make money online and you don't have to work a nine to five. You don't have to dedicate a chunk of time. It can be done in between uh, while you're working on other things. So sell your services. Next is teach a course. One of the great ways to make money online and, and it turns out to be pretty passive is you can share your knowledge via a course. If you dedicate maybe like an hour, an hour, half every day to building a course and you put it on a website like Udemy, that those courses, if they get popular, they start selling themselves and you make a good amount of money. So if you have a, a knowledge, if you have a, a high level of skill in, in an area, you can sell that. If there's something that you're interested in and you don't necessarily have a high level of knowledge or skill and you but you want to learn it, learn it, turn it around and then sell it. For example, um, I have a number of courses on, on, on Udemy about Amazon Web Services. I created those courses after I learned about Amazon Web Services and got AWS certified. So once I had the knowledge and skills, I turned that around, packaged it up, and I resold it. The last and possibly best way to make money online as a stay-at-home dad is with affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing is recommending products or services based on customer needs. So with affiliate marketing, if a customer wants to learn how to lose 10 pounds in the right foot, you create content to help them do that. Then you tell them to click the link in the description to learn how to lose 10 pounds in your right foot in eight days. They click the link in the description, they buy the product or service, and you get the commission. Affiliate marketing is great because it's semi-passive income and you can make this money while you sleep. All of the other ways that I listed, you have to be awake or you have to be present to do that. With affiliate marketing, you can essentially make money while you sleep. If you wanna learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click the first link in the description. In addition to learning everything that I know about affiliate marketing, you'll also get a free guide to email marketing. Now, the reason why you need to learn email marketing as an affiliate marketer is because email marketing will scale your business. Email marketing will help you retarget for additional products or services. Email marketing will help you add additional value by following up with customers multiple times. And we know with, with affiliate marketing or with a customer, it takes between five and 12 touch points before a customer becomes a buyer. So definitely click the first link in the description to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing and get that guide to email marketing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.